Why does this look all screwed up? <laughs> because it is. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like my wheels are about to fall off. <laughs> hey guys, Christian here. Welcome back to another 335i video. If you guys missed the last episode, it was a very good one. I got her wrapped in this gorgeous matte ice titanium silver color and I absolutely love it. And based on the comments that I've seen on YouTube, Instagram, and even Reddit, it seems like you guys really like it as well. And for you guys that haven't seen her yet, I'm gonna go ahead and take her out and put her under the daylight so you guys can have a better look. Well, look at that, the center tail light went out. Time to get a new bulb. Hmm, what's going on here? It's getting a little too loud over here. I gotta get out of here. All right, I had to move to a different section of my neighborhood because it was getting pretty hectic over there. Anyways, this is what she looks like under the daylight. You can really see the body panel lines much more unlike the jet black that's underneath the wrap. Um, there's more of a contrasty look. There's a shadowy part down here. It's brighter at the top. Um, looks like a cartoon almost. And this wrap doesn't make the car look overly sporty. In fact, it actually looks pretty classy with the right amount of uh, sportiness to it. The tail lights were tinted, the side marker was tinted, and so was the side reflector. Overall, I think it looks pretty good. The only thing that's left to do is probably powder coat the wheels to be gloss black so I can match the front grille and the trim, the headlights, and the fog lights. Guardian wraps here in Orlando did one hell of a job. If you guys want to get a full car wrap, or if you guys want to just wrap like the, the trims on the outside, Make sure to hit them up. I'll have their information down in the description below. I mean, I'll also link the video where they wrapped my car. If you guys are interested in seeing that, I'll have that in the description box below as well. All right, anyways, time to head out. I'm gonna go to a place that some of you guys may be very familiar with. Um, see you there. All right, so we made it to PSI. I'm sure a lot of you BMW guys have heard of PSI Orlando. Does Adam LZ ring a bell? I'm here because something's not right on the suspension on the 335i. It's not riding very smooth. Something's off. Either the alignment or maybe the BC coilovers weren't installed correctly. So I'm here to have these guys check it out and we'll see what happens. Gotta respect your elbows guys. These right here are the classics. There you have it guys, the Striker Elders. Absolutely beautiful. This just, this is a masterpiece. Now it was time to see if the guys could figure out what was wrong with the suspension and the poor ride quality. Get some work done. So it looks like Ali from PSI already noticed something that's wrong. What were you telling me that was wrong with it already? The camber plate. Camber the, plate here. Uh, right side is pointing towards caster. Yeah, which is why you guys can see the tire like pointed towards this side instead of staying straight. You can actually see how it's just coming out just a bit. So that's not installed properly. The ride in the rear kind of stiff. Um, I stiffened them up recently so it doesn't rub as much, but like I did it through the little uh, the dampening knob. So it does rub in the rear. Yeah, it's been rubbing. Actually, you can see it's right here in the corner. That's where yeah. it rubs. That corner part. And then the guy that originally was um, rolling the fender said he can't roll that part. That has to be shaved off. Yeah, I can see it touching metal. Yeah, but you know what? That's because their rear tires tow in for whatever reason. I don't know if it comes like that from factory, but it's towed in this way. So this side, it seems like it's popping out more. Okay. Can you see from there if like the steering column is bad or something? Because I hear something every time I'm parking, uh, like a like a clock clock. Like if I'm driving really slow and turning, you can hear something like either rubbing or um, I don't like know. A clicking noise. Yeah, and yeah. Sway bar making noise. Like I can actually feel it and I can hear it. Yeah, it's most likely the sway bar making noise. Either the end links are too tight. Yeah, I had a private shop put on the end links for me since I didn't. I never installed those correctly. Control arm, which is the problem recently, right? Yeah, I did both actually. Yeah. Both arms. Were these M3 or just regular? They were just regular OEM. Yeah. I can tell. So you could go with M3. 
it's a direct fit. Yeah. Car feels a little bit better as far as steering. Or you can go with SPL. SPL has adjustable thrust arm and lower. And it's gonna make the ride better. Control arm. Well, this will turn into a pretty much a camber arm at that point. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, because let's just say I'm not too satisfied with the ride right now. It drives like crap. And I figured it would be a little uncomfortable and a little bit, you know, not smooth because no, it's bigger wheels. What? The rear has too much preload. I don't even think like I even like I don't even think I ever set the preload back there. Ali, how do you like the uh, the color wrap? It's different. Yeah, be honest about it. If it's shit, tell me it's shit. <laughs> 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 All right. I figured I'd take a chance with it because it's not. I, I don't see it as as much on BMWs. Very few. And I think it come out pretty good. No, I want to wrap mine. Army green. Army green? Yeah. That's the color right now, man. It's like gloss. My friend literally upgraded from a brand new iPhone just because it came out in army green. Yeah, I have that too. Oh, okay. So, okay. <laughs> it makes all it all makes sense now. Yeah. What about you, Steven? You like the wrap? Oh, yeah. I love it, dude. Yeah, it looks nice. Dude. Should I paint the wheels black? Very different. I think like that looks good more better. Like that? Yeah. I'm surprised. I had a lot of people tell me that uh, I should uh, paint them black or bronze. Well, bronze? I think bronze maybe match the interior a little bit too. Look different though. Yeah, I gotta different. Photoshop it. That's it. Once I Photoshop it, then I'll know. I'll, I'll probably do it a few different colors. Exactly. Ali, bronze wheels, black wheels, or they stay the same? Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, that's a tough one, isn't it? It just depends on the style of the wheel. Well, no. Well, with this wheel, gloss black to match the trim and the front accents, or just leave it this color or go bronze. Black is basic. So it's just not basic. Bronze white. Kind of blend in with the car, so this one blends in with the car. Yeah, that blends in with the car. If you can go like maybe like more silverish, more silverish, ah, like a polished. Yeah. At that point, then I would have to unwrap the the trim and leave the chrome out so I can. Huh? Nah, I don't think. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. It won't like that. <laughs> <laughs> It'll go hand in hand. Yeah, no, 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 not chrome. Okay, no, this okay. Is 2019. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> so was he saying that the camber is on backwards or? Not e not what? correctly positioned this part. This? Yeah. This is like because I know he explained it, but I'm not sure exactly what well, this about. is supposed to be like camber like this way because this is like basically considered caster like moving the tire like if you're gonna adjust it, you're gonna move the tire like that. You're gonna move the tire back and forth. Okay, I see. So I say it's supposed to be like that. Oh, I see. I see. I see. So you can have camber, but that's when you play with the camber. It, it so it's going to be, so essentially it has to be positioned in this direction exactly. like this. Yep. So it has more of an adjustment for the camber. Yeah. I mean, it has to be like that. Yeah. Because this not, is, this you can mess <laughs> up the alignment and all that thing. So. Yeah, which, okay. That's crazy that it took until today to find that out. And because of that misfit, man, you can see that my wrap is actually peeling right underneath the bumper. You can see it. It's hard to see it here, but it's actually peeling off because the tire is rubbing so much because it's sticking out. Crazy thing is that I took the 335i to like three or four different shops to kind of take a look at the suspension and the alignment. And all of them said it was okay. Nobody caught that issue on the passenger side. Blows my mind, honestly. Oh, up? Yeah. Teamwork, baby. Actually really interested. <laughs> I'm actually really interested to see how you adjust the preload in the rear because I tried to look it up and I was like, that's a negative for me. I'm sure it's going to ride a lot better than what I'm riding on right now, man. It, it feels like I'm riding on a kangaroo. We usually, like, when we first install any kits, pretty much, we drive the car. For sure. And then redo the whole height adjustment again because most of the time it settles after we drive it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and so the, also the preload changes after you do that so we have to readjust suspension oh, okay so it's just I constant trial and error trial and error settled, so All right. we should be able to just set this at certain uh position and then we should be able to gotcha how do you adjust off. the height in the rear is it the spring or the strut uh it's a combination of both combination. so once you adjust this mm -hmm. the strut is what preloads the spring but okay. if you put too much preload when you're driving and you hit like a big pothole or something, mm -hmm. the shock bottoms up and you hear like a 
pretty like significant, like uh, bonking noise. Yeah, I think I've because, experienced that. Yeah, there's too much, there's too much preload mm. usually. So like, if you don't have enough preload, it's usually like a spring binding noise. Mm -hmm. AKA the oh, so like it's like bouncing inside. Yeah, so, what so it is. the AKA the spring is just going inside these two slots and going up and down, up and down by itself. Gotcha. Because the, the strut is not helping anything. <laughs> you can easily go like take it out. You see what I'm saying? But I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. It was just spinning in place. No, my English is not very good looking right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> very good looking. <laughs> What's your dampening set to? I put them literally. I put it at the most stiffest setting because I didn't want it to rub anymore right here. So apparently there was an excessive amount of preload applied to the rear. So much in fact that they had to remove the rear lower control arm in order to release the locks. So I didn't know, but but the BC BR coilovers, they come with front camber plates so you can adjust the front tires. But um, Ali was telling me here that you can actually adjust the camber in the back from factory based on these lower control arms. Yeah, I mean, they're called camber arms pretty much. Camber but arms. they also carry the whole entire suspension. And then you say you maxed out the settings here so they can yeah, camber in a bit? Yeah, so like the wheel goes inwards. Gotcha. So I shouldn't have the rubber problem right here in this corner. Uh, yeah. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, because I think the toe is a little off. On, I think it's like this. Like this. Yeah. So the back is sticking out just a bit. Yeah, we can probably zero it out. Okay. And then you shouldn't have any issue. Dude, I'll never go to Tire Plus ever again, man. I got charged 130 bucks for alignment. Yes, the car's straight, but the freaking wheels are not straight. If that makes any sense. And they couldn't get... They couldn't align it with the wheels on because the clamp couldn't go around. It was just too aggressive, the fitment. So I had to take the rear tires and put the stock tires there. And once I put the stock tires, they aligned it. And I said, is that going to screw the alignment? And they said, no, because we, we're not touching the suspension. We're just touching the, the, the wheels. And I'm like, okay. I thought the wheels were part of the suspension, but uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> no cut. Ta-da. I think it's not going to rub anymore. Does it look lower than before? Did you change the height? <laughs> All right. So according to Ali here, it should not be rubbing right here. Um, he's going to go ahead and fix the toe. Once they put it on the alignment machine over there. And then they're going to go ahead and finish dialing it in. So it's very important, guys, when you guys are working on your suspension on your car, if you don't know what you're doing, just take it to a shop like this one, like PSI. These guys, this is what they do all day. They work on suspension and everything else. Uh, BC Coilovers is actually right next door, so they got a really good partnership with them. And they have the experts that help them out with uh, stuff if they have any questions regarding installation and fitment and stuff like that. So I've never seen the twins out of an N54 motor. These are like microscopic. Look how small they are. Oh, hell no. I need to upgrade those ASAP. Wow. Can you even carry anybody in here? Yeah. Sheesh. 12K springs all around. We're good. And he's fitting an N54 engine in this E34 wagon. Dude, this is going to be like the ultimate sleeper, man. Yeah, exactly. It's going to stay the same way. <laughs> it's like a grandma's uh, grocery getter car. I'll make sure to keep you guys tuned on this project right here. It's going to be pretty sweet. Now that the coilovers were adjusted, it was time to get the car properly aligned. So Steven was just telling me that my turbos might be dying out already. He was looking at the smoke coming out of the back, which is just in time because I'm looking to upgrade them anyways. I'm surprised the turbos actually lasted 76,000 miles because they typically go bad on every N54 car I've ever seen. It looks at everything. Gotcha. Pretty sweet. How bad is it, sir? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. Yeah, uh, yeah sure. It's on point. Yeah. Why does this look all screwed up? <laughs> because it is. <laughs> <laughs> looks like my wheels are about to fall off. <laughs> So the toe was an issue. God, man. Camber on top. Oh, the thrust angle is 0.9, which means the car is going one or the other direction. Yeah. God so damn you, Tire Plus. The toe. So the toe is like supposed to be between 0 0.20 and <laughs> 10, and it's like. It's at negative, negative 1.40. No, 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 no. It's a mess. It's a mess. Dude. The whole car is a mess. Dude. <laughs> it's just a whole mess. I really feel bad that I made a review on this setup, and I was just, I was, it, uh, 
It wasn't even a fair review. Can't imagine that I took this car to Tire Plus and they're like, oh, yeah, you're good to go. Charge me 130 bucks, and then this is what it looks like. God. I'm sure some of you guys saw it when I reviewed uh, my setup with the 19 inch wheels and the lowered height on the BC coilovers. I think I might have to redo that video um, <laughs> because everything's wrong with the suspension on this car and they're adjusting it right now here at PSI. Like my opinions are completely skewed because the car just wasn't sitting right. So hopefully after we get everything adjusted on the 335i, I may remake a video that actually talks about um, how the setup runs on the 19 inch wheels and the BC coilovers. All right, Ali, what are we doing here? Uh, I'm do adjusting tow right now. So every incremental uh, measure you do on here is gonna show on the screen? Yeah. Okay. So these are just targeting the things that are on the wheels. Okay, that's pretty cool. So the goal is to get the toe in between 0.10 and 0.20 degrees. That's exactly what he's doing. I imagine that it was at negative one and change before. What is it that you're adjusting here? Uh, it's the front toe. Oh, the front toe. Okay. At this point, Ali was just finishing up some adjustments and then I'd be good to go. See that guys? Nice and flush. You cannot see it sticking out in the rear anymore. Oh, I cannot wait to drive it. It's probably going to drive much better now. Alright, so she's done. I'll give you guys my impressions when I get to drive her. I'm sure it's going to be a million times better than previously. I absolutely love that wrap color. Oh my god. Big thanks to Guardian Wraps again. So he's gonna go for a test drive to make sure everything's riding good? Yep. Okay. I gotta adjust the dampening a little bit. Oh yeah, remember I have it all the way on hard in the back. <laughs> yeah. I have it all the way, all the way. But those are the benefits of uh, having the extenders because you don't have to take half of the world to get to them. They're sitting back there somewhere. Oh God. That came off. Where'd he cut it? That came off. It did? Yeah. From the top? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. yeah. No. What came off? <laughs> How did it drive? I can't even put it into words. It, it drives a million times better than it did before. Did a good job, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's really hard to put into words. After getting everything adjusted, the car rides so much better than before. I honestly can't believe I drove it the way it was for months. Now I feel more confident around twisty turns and I no longer feel like the car is about to fall apart on less than perfect roads. The lowered ride height on 19 inch wheels are actually not that bad. <laughs> 